Craig here and in this tutorial I'm going to be covering how to stop WordPress from altering any kind of scripts that you're embedding into a WordPress post or page. Now I've just finished a video tutorial which shows you how to embed Facebook content into a WordPress post or page. The only problem is if you switch back to your visual editor, WordPress alters the code, breaking it so it doesn't work. And this also came up inside of Wealthy Affiliate where I created a different tutorial. And I would mention that I will create a tutorial and show you a workaround. So that's what I'm creating right now. Let's first off go and edit this page so I can show you what WordPress does to your script. So right now, here is my Facebook code, which you know displays the content within my WordPress page. Now, if I jump over to visual and then I go back to text, you'll see my code's changed. Well, it's, it's cut some code off, etc. So it's not going to work. So what I'm going to do now is show you a different uh, technique that you can use to embed code or script into your WordPress post or pages. So now that that post has been updated, what we need to do is we need to go off and grab a plugin so under plugins we're going to add new and if you can't if you don't have plugins it's because you're not using a WordPress self-hosted website okay so the plugin we want to find is called custom fields shortcode now you have to make sure that you have the S on the fields so that this plugin comes up first in the list because if you don't have that S it's I don't even think it appears on the first page of the results now, I have to warn you, this plugin has not been updated in four years. And I'm sure some of you, especially someone in Wealthy Affiliate, is probably cursing at me now. But it's a simple plugin, it works, and there's no reason for the plugin to be updated in the first place. So, you know, use this plugin at your own risk. It works perfectly, and uh, I'm going to click Install now. Okay, so I'm now back at my page where I want to insert my Facebook content. And the way this plugin works is we add our JavaScript to a custom field and then insert a short code into the actual post. So to find your custom fields, you simply scroll down and you should see custom fields here. If you don't see it, scroll back up and under screen options, make sure that custom fields is checked. So I'm going to scroll down to custom fields and we are going to click enter new and we are going to call this FB for Facebook. Now I have to go get my JavaScript and I have it in a text file here. So I'm going to copy the code which is going to display this Facebook uh, content within my WordPress post and we're going to paste it into the value area. Now the, the whole code's there, you can extend it if you want. And we're going to click add custom field. Now, if you see that yellow flash, it means it worked. So we're going to go back up to our post and we have to decide, you know, where do we want to put this Facebook content? We're going to drop down a couple of lines or one line and I want to insert it here. So we have to type in our short code. So the way short code works is I've entered in the brackets and in between the brackets, we have CF for custom field. And that's only works with this plugin. And we have FB for the custom field name, which I gave it. And that's it. So now I'm going to hit update and hopefully that should work. So it's been updated. I'm going to open in a new tab and make sure that it works. I know HostGator is having a real problem right now. So that's probably why my site is a little slow. And here we, here we are. We have my, uh, video that I wanted to share within my blog post and it's going to Facebook. So now I can go back to text, visual text. I can do whatever I like. My short code is not going to get edited. So I'm going to give you one more example. And this time we're going to go enter new and we're going to call this AMZ for Amazon. And I'm going to go off, grab my Amazon a widget or whatever it was I created. I'm going to copy it because the same thing happens if you paste in Amazon widgets. You go to visual, boom, it's no longer working. So let's paste in my 
Amazon script, add custom field. This time I'm just going to copy this because it's the same kind of code. And you know what, let's put it here, control V. I just have to make sure I change the name, which was AMZ for Amazon. We're going to hit update. And let's go refresh our page. Here we are, we have our, well, it's not a very good Amazon widget, but there is the widget. And I don't have to worry about going from text to visual. And the great thing about this is, you know, if I want to go edit my code, I don't have to go searching through the text mode with all this code. My code is right here. I can just edit and update. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends if you think they'll benefit and have yourself a great day.